Hi, my name is Nikki. Um, I'm from Australia and I've been doing the teaching project for four weeks now. I'm Harriet, I'm from the UK and I've been doing it for about six weeks now. So every day on the teaching project we go to a village about five minutes away from the house. When you come to Shanpura on your first day, it can be quite daunting and scary because there are so many classes in action at the moment and all the kids have different um, abilities. So we recommend um, not to prepare a lesson for the first day and just to come and introduce yourself to the kids, um, see what the other volunteers are doing and um, perhaps get some tips. And then from your second day onwards till the rest of your program, um, we expect that all, all of our teachers and volunteers um, have a lesson to prepare. We've got basic tables, whiteboards and pens and that's pretty much it. Uh, with the higher class I'm currently teaching them geography, we teach them more subject based uh, stuff with the English language to uh, reinforce their knowledge. Uh, we go between three and five, there's a half an hour at the end to play games. Um, the teaching is quite demanding, there's quite a lot of preparation involved. So with the lesson preparation, um, it's vital for all volunteers to prepare. We spend about an hour each day preparing for the lesson um, that, on that same day. So the dress code at the project is a bit more covered up than maybe when you're working with the turtles and the elephants because you're working in the community. I tend to make sure shoulders, knees are covered. My class, um, their ages range between eight, uh, 9 and 13. So they're in different years at school and that creates a bit of a disparity in their abilities. Um, but we try and come up with a lesson that um, each of them can benefit something from at least, even if it's just focusing on spelling or learning a whole new concept entirely. So an average day for us in the volunteer house is breakfast around half seven or eight o'clock. Um, we've been going to fun teaching, which is so different to the English teaching in the afternoon. It's a completely different atmosphere, slightly more one-to-one -one because there's less monks at the lunch where we go to and they're so sweet once we teach. Um, so we go at about nine o'clock until half ten and we get back here. The main impact from the project that I see is we don't say that we have improved the children for achieving 100 marks of the exam, but they are confident because I'm as a person, the country coordinator, I have seen lots of volunteers come here, support us and uh, leave with really good memories, but I'm the only person who can uh, see day by day, every day, that what is the improvement of the kids. So there are some kids who I know from 2013 up to date that they have like a massively, that they have changed 